almost the end of the year. November market data is out. We'll talk about that up next. Hey, what's going on friends? Dylan Onaka here with the Buy Big Island video blog and it's time for the November market update. The November numbers are out, so we're getting to the end of the year here and we're gonna see what the market's doing. Uh, we've seen that downward trend in terms of units sold and median price the last couple of months and so we're gonna get right into it and take a look at Kona first and then we'll take a look at the entire Big Island. But if you look at the Kona homes market in general, things did rebound a little bit in November. So unit uh, total number of units sold is at 40, almost exactly the same as a year ago, only down 2%. Uh, dollar volume is down real big. That's mainly because some really high-end homes didn't sell and that hurts the dollar volume pretty significantly. But even median price somewhat stabilized again also is down 5%. So it's down a little bit, but uh, we didn't see the larger drop-offs like we saw last month. And then average days on market almost exactly the same. And final list of sold price at 91% is actually up 2%. So not a huge change if we're when we're comparing the November numbers this year to the no November numbers last year in the homes market. And then if we move over to condos, interesting, the condo market has stayed pretty strong the last couple of months. And then we saw, uh, we see this month that there's a little bit of a, dec a decline. So 17% less units sold, uh, decline in the total dollar volume, a decline in the median price. Also, we've seen that continue to rise and that came down this month and then also a big decrease, 37% in the average days on market. So the stuff that is selling is selling uh, quicker than it was a year ago. And then average list of sold price, 95%. So down a little bit, but pretty stable comparing to last year. And then over to the land market, just seven pieces of property sold uh, land wise in November. And again, we always talk about the land market is a little bit hard one to gauge because it's all over the place in terms of big lots selling and, and sometimes cheap lots sell and, and those, those numbers get skewed. So not a, not a big change. Um, there on the land market, but interesting here on the home side, somewhat stabilizing in the condo market, having a decline as opposed to uh, the last couple of months where we saw the housing market kind of slowing down and the condo market staying strong. So we're gonna look island-wide here. Uh, that was just the Kona numbers. And if we look at the big island numbers in general, same type of situation as we're seeing just in the Kona market where the homes market is somewhat stable, 180 units sold across the whole island in the homes market, so only down 4%, so pretty much uh, the same as it was last year. Dollar volume is down, that, that primarily caused by the Kona market because of the high-end stuff that sells there. Uh, median price, again, down 4%, but pretty stable compared to last year. And then average days on market is up 16%, so stuff is selling a little bit slower, but still 85 days on market across the board um, in the island, so the market's still pretty strong, but not stuff isn't selling right away like some people expect it to. And then final list of sold price, 92%, that is up 2%, so pretty much the same as it was a, a year ago. In the condo market, same thing, down 22%, uh, um, primarily caused by, you know, most of the condos are in the Kona market, but 49 condos sold across the whole island. Volume is down 9%. Median price is pretty stable, just up 1% as opposed to last year. Average days on market, fell 37%, so stuff sold faster this year than it did last year. And then final list of sold price, 95%, just up 1%, so pretty similar. And then if you look across the whole island at the land market, um, you got a bigger sample here, so 100, 107 pieces of property sold. That's down 37% as opposed to last year, so a lot less land selling on the Big Island than we saw last year in November. And actually total volume is up, median price is up, uh, days on market is up, so things are selling slower. 205 uh, average days on market for land, so selling slower. And then the final is the sold price at 90%, so about the same, up 2% as it was a year ago. So the market continues to do some interesting stuff. Um, nothing real drastic. We saw a little bit of a rebound, I think, this month, as opposed to last month where things were, things were looking like they, there was a slowdown happening. So. We'll continue to monitor. Um, if you got questions about a specific market in the island, I can pull that those, those numbers and, and send them to you if you got any specific questions. But the VOG continues to not be a factor anymore. And I really feel like just personally, in the last two weeks, there's been a real big pickup in volume of contacts, people come in, uh, people looking for property. So I'm expecting December to be a pretty busy month in terms of opening new escrows. And of course, that's not gonna 
translate into sales until January or February. So we'll see what the next couple of months holds, but that slowdown that really uh, was put into place by the volcanic activity um, has somewhat rebounded and we've stabilized again. So we're seeing very similar numbers uh, this year as opposed to last year. And that big drop off in sales has uh, somewhat come back. So that's good news, um, but we'll see. We'll continue to monitor. Let me know if you guys got any questions. You can put comments in the comments below or hit me up at dylan at buybigisland.com and we'll uh, get you the information you need. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again next week. Aloha.